Good morning, it's sunny at last and I'm going to the beach. Would you like to come with me? I hope so. We might see the wheelbarrow man, that would be exciting. He lives around here. Um, can you see that house? Lift the phone up a little bit. That house there. I can't, I'm not very good at pointing on my phone. I'm like, it's back to front. That house there, not the white one, the one next to it. We put an offer in that house and it got accepted. And then a day later, we even went as far as going to the estate agents and taking some details in and then we got gazumped. So every time I walk past, I'm slightly bitter. But I love our house now, so that's fine. But I'm still bitter about that house there. Just do the steering wheel with the grey grey door. Um, yep, yeah, now after the beach, hopefully we will see the wheelbarrow man. That would be exciting. Um, and find some bricks and I'll take some video of some nice... Oh, there's nice trees, falling down trees. Hopefully there'll be some... Well, not hopefully, I don't want them to fall down, but they're normally there. And also, anything I find, sea glass or sea, pot sea pottery is rare, maybe some sea glass. And I've got, my, I've got my little stick thing to video, like a proper YouTuber, so I'm not sure if I'll... I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. You don't see people around my area with a stick kind of talking to themselves, so it's slightly odd I'm doing it in the car, really, but the people just think I'm on my phone, won't I? They might think I'm on my phone when I'm talking to the camera so i might use it might not but i'll definitely take lots of film so i will see you on the beach we have arrived the sun is out the sea is kind of calm but not that calm but um i'm happy to be here and i'm happy blue sky it's not that warm but i've got my coat on all good Let's see what we can find a jellyfish, which looks like a piece of seagull. So we're just going to the second part of the beach. The first part there is a bit busier. There's a few, not lots of people, a few dog walkers and a fisherman. Which I had to walk around, make sure I didn't get tangled in his fishing line. Um, and yeah, the next bit coming up is a bit busier, and where the beach coming is and the fallen trees. This is a massive fallen tree someone in the comments but I showed you a little clip of the end which I'll get to in a minute and someone in the comments had said it would look nice in the garden obviously I didn't realize how big it was because I didn't show the whole thing but it's really big I took my hand so you can see it's huge but this is the end bit which is beautiful just look at that one home should we come home with us put back my pocket oh there's a nice one here oh I can't record because of my shadow there we go I'm over the other side of the beach away from the sea a little bit in case the waves are so loud so when I get home I can't I can't hear anything <laughs> and you won't be able to hear anything because the waves are so loud up here a little bit that is where the San Martins are. I have recorded those before so I'll quietly go past there and record, record those if they're there. They come every year and make little nests in the side of the cliffs. The cliffs are really, I might be able to see up ahead. The cliffs are really, let me zoom in, the cliffs are really orange. They're really soft, sandy clay and is sandy clay a thing? I don't actually know what they're made of but they look like sandy clay sometimes they crumble down if the tide is in you can't 
and you're trying to walk across it because it's crumbled down it you've got the sea going right up to the edge of the cliffs i'll show you when we get there and it's really slippery it does feel like clay oh we've got a nice tree here another fallen in tree look at the roots Right, I have found a nice little spot and I'm going to have my banana just before we get to the San Martins. We didn't want to disturb those. And I've got some oat cakes and a banana so you can have a little picnic with me. I'm not sure you want to watch me eat a banana, but you can watch me peel it. It's a baby one. There was a fly there. It's a baby one, so I'm not sure how much energy that's going to give me. I should have brought my Kendall mint cake when I went to Kendall to see Luna Lapin and the cool crafting shop. It's in Kendall. I bought some Kendall mint cake, which we used to have when we were little all the time. And um, it's lovely, but I need it in my bag, really. This is my trusty rucksack that I take on all my walks. It's got beach combing. This is my bag I use for beach combing. Bricks. I'll show you the, I'll show you my view. Oh, So nice. I don't feel like I'm on my own because I've got you to talk to, everybody watching. And it's beautiful and warm now the sun is out and it hasn't the sun hasn't been out for days. It hasn't been properly, you know, when the sun is so nice and warm and it just it feels lovely and it it's good for your mental health, isn't it? The sun. It just makes you feel so much nicer. So much happier. Wish I'd brought some crafting to do we could have had a lot of craft a crafting beach day and I wish I'd bought a flask and if I come on my own I never ever think of bringing a flask Neil always brings a flask but he's at work today so I'm here by myself and I, I just don't I thought, well I'm here with all of you but you didn't bring a flask did you <laughs> why didn't you bring a flask a uh, nice flask of coffee would be really really lovely never mind just soaking up the sun at the moment it's been really cold the last few days so this is this is lovely. I've been really enjoying recording these. I wasn't sure. It was a definitely a last minute decision. I hadn't thought of it popped in my head I could possibly do something like this but I hadn't planned it or anything I literally thought of it and just thought yes do it and then I wrote a list of things I could make and do in the week month but it, it is the I think the hardest thing is I'm looking at my phone a lot because I'm editing and it does take a lot of time but I really really I've really really enjoyed doing it and I know a few people have put to keep going Lily keep going Lily which is lovely because I'm sure I'll have times when I'll be like, oh, I don't know whether I can, whether I can do this or I don't feel like it, or especially when I'm kind of back at work and I'm tired. And but I think it's been good for me doing it. I've, I'm really enjoying it. So thank you for watching and commenting, keeping me going. <laughs> I don't want to get up now. I don't normally sit down on a walk. Not occasionally we'll have a. I'll do that one day. I keep saying to them, we haven't done it for ages, but we normally have a pot noodle and we bring some water, heat it up and have a hot, hot noodle on the beach. So, oh, we'll do that one day. We have it at breakfast time, we don't care. We'll eat a, a pot, we don't have loads of pot noodles, but it's some, we just had it one day on the beach. It's kind of our thing now, just to go on the beach and have a cook a pot noodle. Even at breakfast time, half eight in the morning. What time is it now? It's 20 past eight. I got here, because I'm sitting in the clay bit, my hands are filthy now. Um, be. Um, I forgot what I was saying then. Never mind. I just have to cut that bit out. Right. Comfy as I am and warm as I am, I think I'm going to carry on. Go and see the. Try and clean my hands a little bit. And I've got some hand gel in there. I hope that I'll get it off. And I'm going to check out the lovely sand martins but I won't speak I'll be really quiet walking past them so I don't want to disturb them because they're nesting
Ready to run. Seagulls. No. Sea pottery and seagulls next to each other. Is there going to be a pattern on the other side? No. Now this is exciting. Look at this. Top of a bottle. I haven't found one of those before, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, I'm always windswept on the beach, so I've got the slides in to try and tame it, but it doesn't really work. Um, I'm now heading home because the battery's running low on my phone and I need to hang some washing out because the sun's out. But look at that lovely sky. I'm not sure if I'm catching it behind me because the sun's bright and it's hard to see. But the clouds are making a really nice effect in the sky. I will see you when I get home. Today's beach finds. Thank you so much for reminding me about the brick that we found. I did actually find it on the way back again. Eh? Walked exactly the same place. It didn't take many bricks because they are quite heavy and I was getting tired and hungry. Hello, I'm back from the beach. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed coming along and I hope the audio is okay. It was a bit, it's always windy on the beach. So it was, I definitely need to get one of those puffy things, don't I, for the, for the phone. Um, yeah, so it wasn't, it, I hope that's okay and it's you can hear me and everything. I've watched a bit of it back and it's quite long. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to record for the rest of today. So I thought, well, I'll do a little bit of a chat now and kind of say goodbye at the end of this don't go yet, I haven't quite finished talking, but at the end of this chat, I'll say goodbye in case I don't record anything else today to add on to this video. So don't, because they're only daily vlogs, so I don't want them to be really, really, really long. In case I forget, I might not upload anything at all tomorrow, Thursday, because I'm at work 
my working hours are eight till four. I'm working from home. So if I wake up super early, I think, well, I'm going to do loads of embroidery or make something or sort some fabric out before I work. I'll record it and I will do it. But if I don't, I'm not putting any pressure on myself, basically, because obviously work is my main focus on my days when I work. I've just been making some bread rolls for Neil for his tea. He's going to have, well, I'm going to have it as well, like a ploughman's with homemade bread rolls. From, I do use a, I use a pack. I'm not going to pretend to make my own bread and put the yeast in when I don't. I do use the packet was there on the little clip. <laughs> I use a packet, a packet, mix it up in, in, with my hands and eat it and everything and then pop it in the oven. And I was watching Penny from Penelope's Chinwag, who is teaching me, <laughs> everybody, not just me, how to make a quilt from scratch. There's a series of four videos and I've started watching the first one. So I'm about three quarters of the way through and Penny is so relaxing to watch. I don't think I'm relaxing to watch if you watch when you, obviously if you watch me, you are watching me if you're watching this now, but I wish I was so more relaxing and some people's videos are just lo lovely and they're all calm and everything. I think, oh, well, I'm not like that at all. <laughs> I wish I was. Uh, but yeah, so, I've started watching that and the only time I learned about quilts, it relaxed me as well because Penny's got such a lovely, relaxing, calming way about her, which I haven't. Uh, but never mind, everyone's different, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pick, I picked up a few tips already from that for when I make my embroidered quilt with my embroidery and I'm going to quilt around the edges and everything. So looking forward to that, but I've got to watch the rest of the series first because I'm only on episode, about three quarters of the way through episode one of that. So, yes, this afternoon, going to practice my recording of things, me recording myself doing things like sewing, embroidery, my English paper piece, I've got paper piecing, I've got some kind of fabric things I want to sort through and just things I want to record for the rest of the month. But I don't really, I have got a thing which I'm using now, which holds my phone but, and I've found out it bends down. So that's helpful. I can bend it down because I've got this one just doing the splits <laughs> which I was using on top but I've got one with a little light thing on as well and that does the phone can go right down on that so it's just it's very I didn't realize how long-winded it is recording yourself doing things or just recording yourself talking it's kind of okay but then when you at different angles and everything it's actually really time consuming so but I do want to do more of that and I want to do some definitely this this month so I think this afternoon I'm probably going to be doing that doing a little bit of crafting, but also getting my skills up a bit about recording on the table, my sewing machine and that kind of thing. So yeah, I hope that's okay. Because I think then this will be the end of this video, me talking now. I don't think I'm going to record anything else unless I get a peacock in the garden or something. Or there was a little blue tit in the garden. <laughs> We used to have a peacock in our garden where we used to live. If I can find a photo, I'll pop it up because we called him Malcolm and he was just, he wasn't actually our peacock. He just wandered all over, but he's always in the garden. And he would just appear all the time. He'd be up on the roof and, and he was just, feathers would come out and it's absolutely beautiful. So I will, I will, I'm sure I can find a photo. We took hundreds of photos of him. So I'm sure I'll, I'll find a photo and pop it up. Malcolm the peacock. I wish he'd followed. When we moved, we were like, oh, I wish Malcolm could come with us. But I, I don't think he'd like it. It's, there's a, there is a road. I don't think he'd like it quite so much here. It was more country where we were before. So I will see you tomorrow, possibly. If I record, if I don't record, you'll know why, because I'm busy at my desk working all day. It's probably irritating me spinning this while I'm talking, isn't it? Um, oh, the sun's come out again. I'm so excited. Lovely. Just a little bit of sun, that's all I want. Um, because it went in when I came home from my walk again. It wasn't sunny anymore. I'm ra really rambling now, so I'm going to have to edit lots out of this. One more thing. My sister, if I, with the rabbit giveaway, which I'm definitely going to do when the rabbit's been made, I'm going to I've check with my sister in case I can't do the name generator. I've said to my sister, if I print all the names off and cut them off, cut them out, will you pick them out of the hat? And they win her out of the hat. And she said, yes, hopefully I can use the name generator. She said, I haven't got to be on camera, have I? I said, no, no, just your hat. Maybe your hand, <laughs> your hand might be on camera. And what I will do is at the end of the month when I've made the rabbit and then I'll have one particular episode where I'll say if you're interested in winning just put a particular comment like rabbit or something in the comment and then you will because not everybody will want to win um so yeah that's how I'm going to do that anyway so 
I'm going to say bye for now and I will see you in a day or a couple of days or soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.